and whatever else you believe in. I don't care what you believe in, but on earth, it's a very lonely journey. And it starts with the accountability mirror of looking at saying, hey, my dad who beat the hell out of me is not coming back. All these things are coming back. I have to face myself. And you have to own all those things that people may have done to you. Now it's yours. You got to own it. And it's yours now to fix the problems that people did to you. It makes no sense. It's not fair. I get it. But if you live in that what was me mentality of guess what? My dad did this to me. My mom just did it to me. People who bully did this to me. You're going to always live right there. You have to figure out ways to move forward because you're not coming back. You don't want to break open that that callus, that that scar in your mind. You don't want to break, you know, you have to break it open, let that blood flow. You have to let blood flow in your brain. You have to let all that stuff flow out. All that toxic stuff that you have trapped in there has to start flowing out now. So you you are you are doing this to yourself. Yes, people may have helped you get there, but it's now on you. Painful truth. Like all those people in high school and everything else, they don't know how you're going to end up. So you got to make sure that you constantly are rewriting your book. You have to constantly rewrite your book every day of your life. Mm-hmm. You know, and that, these aren't just words I say. This is how I have to live. Like these are conversations I have with myself. And I say it everywhere I go. The most important conversation when you have with yourself. Yes. You live with it every single day. But most of our conversations are not the right ones. They're not the ones that are going to push us to the place we need to go. They're the ones that are going to keep us sitting in that toxic environment that you've helped create and everybody else helped create and you just live in it. You live in that muck and that conversation just plays in your head. That becomes you. So my first conversation when I was absolutely nobody and that's one thing you have to say. We live in a world now that's so kind. We we find the kind way around everything. Like if you don't look good, I have to find a kind way of saying I don't like your shirt. Right. That's not the approach. If that's the approach you're looking for, that book is not for you. Mm. Can't hurt me is not for you. The approach you have to take, at least I took. You take whatever approach you want. The conversation had to be a real honest conversation in the accountability mirror. Guess what? I was fat. Don't find a kind word to say that, you know what? I've gained some weight. No, you're fat. When I couldn't read, not like, hey, you know, you have a learning disability. No, I cannot read. The fourth grade reading level, I'm struggling. And sometimes I call myself stupid. Not in a way to put myself down. So don't take it like, my God, those are so hurtful. Yeah, they're hurtful. This honest. The conversation has to become an honest conversation of where you're at mentally. Where am I at mentally? I look like shit. I feel like shit. I'm not this, I'm, I'm falling behind in school. I'm lazy. My house is a mess. You have to look at what it is and call it what it is. Don't find words to make yourself feel better because that's what, so we hang around people that make us feel better, that tell us what we want to hear, not what we need to hear. And so we stay away from those people and we stay away from those people. Like our internal dialogue becomes that kind. It's okay. It's not okay. So that's where it starts. It starts with that accountability of it's not okay anymore. This can no longer be okay. And calling yourself out for exactly what you are and exactly how you need to fix it. Nothing gets solved by that, man. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And if you look at America right now, and I won't get off on this, nothing is getting solved because we have, there's so much racism. There's so many, there's so many things. And that's just one of them. We can't talk about anything. We are skirting all these conversations because if I say this, I'm gonna offend a black person or a white person or a Jewish person or or a gay or lesbian person. We skirt around the daggone problem. So we can't fix shit. Everything is like, well, if I say this on TV, I'm gonna lose my damn job. We have to say it. We have to break the barriers within our minds, within the world. And it starts with yourself. It starts with yourself. You got to break the barriers down within yourself and, and just go there. You got to go to yourself. Absolutely. So I talk about the repetition in my book a lot. Yeah. Got to get the reps in. So now my conversation is this. I never set out to write a book. When I was in the dungeon and no one was coming back to help me, I just wanted that reflection in that accountability mirror that I hated so badly 
to be something that gave me pride, to be something that made me feel. It wasn't about, it's not about money. It's not about success. It's not about people. Oh my God, that's David Goggins. Sign my book. No. When I started this journey out years ago, it's about, I just want to learn to read. So now I'm at a place wow. now where I see the possibilities of the human, of human potential. What are we capable of is the conversation now. The conversation now is how can I now talk to people in a way they can understand the message that I have for so many people, for so many people. So that's the, that's the new conversation now is that I, you are constantly evolving. You never stay, either you're getting better, or you're getting worse, not staying the same. So for me, I have to constantly be getting better. I have to constantly be evolving my message. So I'm constantly thinking in the quietness of my mind. That's, that's a key point too. The world is so fast paced. The world is so noisy. So my conversation now a lot of times is, my God, slow down. The world can take you here, here, be here, be there, be everywhere. And I lose myself sometimes. So I catch myself in the airport. I catch myself in the plane where I'm writing stuff down. Okay, remember this, remember that. And I'm going, hey, hang on a second, God. What, what got you here? This isn't what got you here. Slow the fuck down. Go back to the quiet place of that dirty mirror in that $7 a month place you used to live in. That's where you grew. You, so, I, so that's what I'm, I'm constantly reminding myself of go back to your roots. And I'm not saying go back to hell. I'm saying don't forget where you come from as you start to explode out of the gate when you become someone. My conversation is do not forget your roots. Do not forget your roots. Don't let this become so big that you lose yourself amongst the noise. Go back to the quietness of what made you successful. That's the conversation now. It's a constant reminder of that. And that's why when I walked in here the first thing I do is I, is I want to know the person because there's so many people right now doing exactly what we're doing. What turns me off so badly that I see so many people out there trying to motivate people, inspire people, help people find what's going to drive you. I see all this shit. It's all fucking a bunch of shit. And I walk in, I see it everywhere. Everybody's got this going. Everybody's got a new podcast, this about I'm going to help you find yourself. They're not living it. They're not living it, which is why I look at people. And I'm like, what are you about? A lot of times I go on these podcasts. And I don't want to fucking be there. You know, because I start realizing this person is just talking. He's not living. And we share this with people and we expect them to change. They can see right through you. They can see you're not doing this. So that's the thing about it. Don't do everything in your life for money. Don't do everything. Yes, we need it to survive. There's a great drive and passion behind doing things for the mind and the soul. There's a great drive in that. Everybody goes, man, you, you talk with such passion. This is a life. This is my life. So that's, so that's what I want people to get from all this stuff, man. Like there's something inside you. The, the brain is the most powerful thing. The mind is the most powerful thing that we have. It's not your phone. It's not the computer. It's not anything. It's your mind. And if you can tap into that, you can come from the, from the, they are going roots of hell and become such a great seed, a powerful seed that can grow into some great daggone garden. And people don't get that. It's all up here. The power and the magic's up here. Always do your own judging. Always meet the person. Look at the person in the eyes before you say you don't like that person. Listen to their story. Listen to who they are. Listen to where they come from, how they lived. Get your own opinion about people. It's very huge. A lot of people didn't like me coming up because they, they, they see this hardness, this crust. Break away at the crust and see what's inside that person. And don't judge somebody from 30 freaking years ago, mm. or I say 30 fucking years ago. Mm. You know, there's so much stuff going on right now in the world. People are trying to evolve. Let them evolve. Yes. Let them evolve. Don't bring them back into the, don't bring them back where they came from. Yes. Don't, don't bring, if someone wants to get better, don't bring them back to where you knew them when they were a piece of shit. Let them fly. And if you feel like hell because they went away and they escaped the hell that you all once lived in, fix yourself. Fix yourself. Don't hold them accountable because they got away. Don't, don't constantly remind them that they were once here. Fix yourself. 